Hey guys, welcome back to my garden. Today's day 40 of our cucumber growth and things are off to a good start. We have quite a few cucumbers that we're going to be harvesting in this video and things are doing really well. You could see that I have a ton of cukes just growing all over the place. So I'm excited for our first harvest. You could see some beautiful large ones. They're, have, they're just about maybe like three to four inches in growth. Um, the biggest one's probably about five, six inches. That's this one right over here. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm really excited to harvest, um, to get the harvest actually going. This is going to be a, a pickling cucumber. So you could tell just by like how bumpy the edges are right around it. And all the, those little bumps you could basically wipe off before consuming. I'll show you guys how we do that later. But for now, you can see the second level is growing in quite a bit. And the first level has obviously grown in fully. You can see that the cucumbers on the second level are starting to put on some size. And every day, um, for some reason, something went wrong. You could see that they're starting to yellow and a lot of the old newer ones that were growing are starting to die off. They begin to yellow here at the very front and it kind of starts getting a little bit more pale and the base is usually a nice deep green color. You could see like this one here and you could see it's just like the color is completely changing now. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on exactly. I've been trying to do some research. It could be um, possibly I, I made the water level a little bit too high. So it gave this plant a little bit like wet feed. So it's a little bit difficult to see exactly at the moment. We'll see. I'm trying to pinpoint what went wrong. But in the meantime, um, I'm sure I'm going to have a second harvest of this plant and we're going to have new growth. So even though we're, we did lose a lot of fruit, I'm going to have new fruit replacing that area. So it's not a big deal, guys. I'll show, show you how we do that later on. But for now, you can see just the size difference um, of this like immature fruit compared to like these beautiful ones that are growing. So I'm really excited to get things going, guys. You can see it's pretty warm in the, in the grow room. It's 90 degrees usually on a regular basis now. And I got two fans to try to keep things cool. There's this oscillating one right behind me that it spins around. I keep the fans on going basically. As when the lights are on, the fans are on. When the lights are off, the fans are off. Um, generally at night, it's, it gets nice and cool. So I don't think the plants need the extra circulation. And look at this beautiful fruit in front of you here, guys. Let's see how big this is right now. It looks like it's currently just about five inches long and a little bit bigger than the inch wide. So maybe like an inch and a quarter approximately. So I think it's time to basically plant out some new seeds, guys. Um, I only have a couple of seeds left of this growth, so I'm definitely going to be saving a lot of seeds off of this plant as well as the, the new growth. So let's see. This is all I have left of of this self-pollinating cucumber plant so not much at all guys as you see it's what is this like six or seven seeds at the, at the most and don't forget not all seeds germinate so hopefully everything works out so usually i, I get pretty pretty successful germination rates with the cucumber plants for some reason I, I've, every seed i've usually planted always popped out and you want to plant it the seed a good rule of thumb is as big as the seed that's how deep you want to plant it in and I like to cover it up with a little coco core now instead of instead of just like ruining the rock wool cube and like pulling it and smushing it. This is a little bit better and cleaner. As well as the rock wool, the coco core inside keeps it a little bit more moist. So a little bit better for germination, I think. And you can see right now that the cukes are just growing in size. The ones that we do have right now. Um, like I mentioned, I have lost a few. Every day I lose probably about like five to seven fruits for some reason. Uh, minus the ones that were, are growing, all those are, are were successful. Everything else for some reason didn't didn't pollinate properly. I'm not sure what went wrong exactly. It could be a pollination issue. It could be a water issue. Um, we'll see, guys. I'm really trying to pinpoint everything down, and I'm taking a lot of notes. So the second growth should be a lot better than this first one. And you can see that the stem is just kind of grown all over the place and everywhere i had cucumbers initially those have have fallen off or i had to actually take those off because when you, when you see it begins to yellow there's no point in in wasting time letting the plant waste energy and like rotting that fruit away just rip that right off and you could see i clipped on both edges out over here and i removed all the suckers to try to help the plant keep growing 
And basically, it's just been one day later, so it's I think it's time to harvest, guys. Especially that earlier fruit that I showed you. It's nice and large. Look at this beautiful guy right here. And we're going to be sampling this fruit as well, so we're going to definitely try that out. And you can see the other fruits as well have grown in size. Every day, these fruits grow pretty big. It, just, it seems like overnight, it, there's usually a huge change. And this is an example of like a yellowing fruit that I mentioned, guys. So let me zoom you in. You could see, you could see the color just like completely changes, and this fruit is not going to grow in anymore. It may look like it's it's growing, but as you see, it's starting. It starts to brown, and it just wilts away right after that. So the plant wastes a lot of energy into doing that, into wasting time. Just just ripped right off, guys. And you can see there's already new leaves that are growing in its place. So through those new leaves, there's going to be new suckers that form and grow and new fruits that take those place. So I'm not too worried. And you want to clip off all the dead leaves that you see, all the damaged leaves. And as you see, we do have some fruits still growing, so it looks nice and healthy, guys. And I changed the nutrients in this plant, um, I mean, in this container the other day. Um, I noticed things were actually looking a little bit like weird. Uh, the leaves are starting to like really change colors and they're starting to put on signs of like nutrient deficiencies and things like that. So I checked the, the pH and the PPM and the levels were way off, guys. Um, let me show you right now. You could see that um, after I changed it, it seems like um, I'm trying to keep things nice and high. Like I poured the, the water, you can see three gallons over there, so I probably made a mistake. I should have most likely went maybe a little bit lower, maybe two gallons. Um, I probably didn't leave enough room for air roots. It seemed to be good for the first two two times, but you could see, I don't know, it might have been a little bit too high, I think. But overall, the plant is growing, guys. It is consuming the nutrients. As you see, it, it already drank up just about almost a gallon, or like, what was that, like almost half a gallon, actually. And overall, things are doing really, pretty well, guys. I'm still excited. This is going to be a, a nice harvest. Um, really looking forward to actually tasting this cucumber, seeing how it how it is. I honestly don't remember growing it in the past, like how how the flavor was. I mean, it's a cucumber. It's it's most likely going to be delicious and crunchy and juicy. So let's pull this guy right off. And when you harvest the cucumbers, you want to try to leave a little bit of the base up top over there as well as the flower here at the bottom until you want to until you want to consume it and these little bumps that i mentioned they just peel right off guys you just kind of like even with your finger when you rub it all over it you could see like this it starts to kind of come off and you could see these little those little spiky bumps are removed right off uh come right off i mean and you could use like a washcloth or like a little napkin or something i'm just gonna rinse it under some water with my hand and wipe it off so let's see what the other harvest that we could, what we could get right now. So we got two, we got three cucumbers so far. Oh, that one's attached. Uh, that broke off the flower. Uh, that's all right. And you can see this another one. And try to leave the the base like I mentioned. It looks like one or two over here. I, I broke off a little bit too low. But overall, pretty good harvest, guys. We got basically five cucumbers off of this growth. And I couldn't really ask for more for, from this plant at the moment. I'm not going to consume more than this right now anyways. So we'll see. I'll make like a little salad, maybe slice it open. I will try one in this video so we, we get to see what it tastes like. And let's see what we got, guys. So we got nice little pickling cucumbers. Absolutely beautiful looking. Um, and generally you want to grab them when they're like three, four inches maybe. When it gets to like five to seven inches, the taste gets a little bit more bitter. The skin gets a little bit more thicker and either way, I have one that's larger, ones that ones that are smaller. I'm, I'm going to compare them and try to see which ones I like more. And this is just a quick way just to remove these bumps like I mentioned. 
And I'm going to wash the fruit under some water as well. Just in case wash off any dust or debris or anything that may have like been sitting on, on this fruit for a while. And hit that thumbs up guys if you like the video. Post any comments down below. I'll do my best to respond as always. So our largest cucumber right now is basically this one here. We got looks like just about six inches and And about like one, like one and a quarter in width, something like that. So not bad guys, it looks like an, uh, just overnight like it really grew um, all, almost an inch larger, that's a nice difference. And it's what is it, 2.67 2 ounces. So pretty good for the largest fruit, that's um, this tafara right over here that I mentioned that I'm going to take off before consuming. But if you want to, if you want to just save it on the side, keep both ends. Not bad. Skin's a little thick. But very, very juicy and tasty. Really good cucumber, guys. You know what? That was really good. I decided to wash the rest of them. I'm gonna split it with my wife and my son. We're gonna consume these. They're so small that we just wanna enjoy them. And excuse all the chewing in the background guys, but if you liked the episode, please show me some love, hit that thumbs up, post any messages or comments down below, as always, I do my best to respond to all of you. I love and appreciate all you guys, and keep the, keep the community going guys, let's keep the growth going, and hopefully I can make this plant bounce back and have a nice second harvest. So the great first harvest guys, if you liked the episode, hit that thumbs up, I'll see you back soon for more. Thanks for watching.